Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to show you today how I could realize a free button solution to control intensity of several fixtures. Someone might call it maybe busking buttons, whatever. So, you know, the function behind this means you have three buttons on one button, beam on the other button, spot on the third button, wash lights, for example, and you can uh, just switch them on and off. But this is getting for sure boring after a while because you want to change the odd, but, uh, the odd function, the even button. Maybe you want one button with all fixtures switched on or the RGB lamps, whatever. The solution to do this is really simple. The first way I explained, just make three buttons with the function you want. But another solution, which makes it more convenient for you to choose something different is just store all your fixtures with dimmer attribute full, which I will do now. I have 24 dimmer channels because it's pretty simple to show it was to, with dimmer channels. Switch them on and store it into a sequence. I label this sequence dim1. Why I call it dim1? I will explain later. I assign this sequence to a button. I will assign it as temp. Oops. And you see it's switching on and off. I could go and assign this sequence three times, which would do for sure the same. Switch on and on because I forgot to make a temp function from it. And if someone asks why I use a temp function, the temp function I use for this because I could assign an off time. To a flash button, I can't assign an off time to it. That's why I assign a temp function. You could assign as well a go release. I have it into my show file, everything um, with macros, so I can assign whatever function to this button. So it's in my show file, it's a little bit more tricky. But this is for sure one solution which works, but it's not a convenient solution. That's why I delete this. I will make a copy of this sequence and why I do a copy of this and don't use um, the sequence dimmer one, I will explain soon and you will understand why I do it. So when I go and assign this to the buttons again, just to show you, I don't have a um, hardware console close by at the moment. I'm too lazy to pull out my comment ring. So, and you see, Everything is working smooth like it want, but now I still have every fixtures switched on. This is nothing what I want. I want that, for example, only the first eight are switched on. <coughs> I'm sorry, this is no Corona, don't worry. So I have now marked the first eight fixtures. I store them in a group called and I call this group, for example, beam. Now I choose the other eight fixtures, which I store in a world cause, call this world spot. And the last one, I call the world wash. So that's all I did. I cleared the program again. Now comes the magic. I assign to this executor, a playback filter and this filter I take beam on the second one I take as filter spot and on the third one I take the filter wash now you see I have only this fixture switching on which is onto in this playback filter. Just to show you that I didn't change something on the sequence, I will assign 
one sequence, make it a temp function, and you see in the sequence everything is going like it should be. It was not a temp, it was a go. So you see everything is working like it was before, but here you have it different. Just because I assigned a filter to it. In this case, the filter is a world. I assigned a world just to this executor. To make it more simple, for sure write a macro about it and I call this the first macro full. Because it should call the world full to this executors. So I added this macro and I say assign world full at executor dim. And I forgot something because I want it on all pages and not only on this one. So if I start this macro, you see all the filters are gone again. Now everything is going on. I will store a second macro, call this macro beam spot wash. Edit this macro, write one of the lines, assign world beam at executor dim one. In the second line, assign world spot at executor dim2. And in the third line, assign world wash at executor dim3. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Just use this. And now you see I have now again filters assigned to it. Full, you see, no filter assigned. Switch it to this macro and you see filter assigned. The magic behind this why I use names is, you see, I call a world beam, a world spot and a world wash. I could move this worlds wherever I want and it's still working correct. So, world full. Everything is like it was before. I call this, and now you see it's working. I could even move the sequences around on different positions. I could even move the executors on different positions. Go to world full, go, you see, everything is working. Go here, start this macro again, and you see it's working, even if I move around. That is why I give unique names. And the magic is you should give unique names. So you should not have the name dimmer2 or dim2 as a sequence name somewhere else in your shelf. This doesn't work then. So you need to give unique names unique names for everything. That's the magic, enjoy, play with it. You could even choose different attributes like colors, positions, movements, shutters, whatever. The only thing where it doesn't work really, or where I say it, it's working a different way is if you use an effect and selective effect, then it works a little bit different. But now, just enjoy it, try it out, ask me if you have questions, see you.